Worcester. Welcome back to the Blue Space Minute, where we talk about water quality issues in our recreational lakes and ponds. I'm your host, Jacqueline. Recently, you may have heard about closures at local beaches and wondered what caused this and how does it affect the lake as a whole? In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about fecal bacteria. Fecal bacteria are distinct from cyanobacteria, which are naturally occurring, but can multiply quickly under the right conditions. Fecal bacteria, on the other hand, come from a warm-blooded animal and are introduced to a lake from external sources. These sources can include ducks, geese, dogs, beavers, and even humans. Fecal bacteria are harmful to human health, and for that reason, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts has required that all public beaches get tested regularly for indicators of bacteria, including E. coli and Enterococcus. The City of Worcester Department of Inspectional Services tests the city beaches regularly, including Bell Pond, Coes Reservoir, and Indian Lake. The State Department of Conservation and Recreation tests the two beaches on Lake Quinsigamon. If the results come back too high, then the beach is closed to swimming and retested until the numbers come back at safe levels. In this way, we help prevent people from coming in contact with potentially harmful bacteria. But why does it happen? How long do these bacteria last in the water and what does it mean for the greater lake? Join us to answer these questions and more on the next episode of the Blue Space Minute.